Have they grown up yet? Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the In Betweeners cast. Where are they now? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the sitcom's biggest stars and what they've been doing since the show and films wrapped up. Number 8. Belinda Stewart Wilson, Will's Mum Did you have to pin me up? I just wanted to hear about your first day! Though she's still most famous for playing Will's mum, Polly McKenzie, she's had roles in classic British comedies both before and after the Inbetweeners. These include brief appearances in The IT Crowd and Miranda, hugely successful sitcoms in their own right. So, Queen Kong, what's news with you? Oh, well, I'm just focusing on my business. Since 2017, she's also had a main role in Sick Note, a dark comedy starring Rupert Grint and Nick Frost as a man who fakes terminal cancer and his doctor respectively, and is featured in sitcom Citizen Khan. But she's also had a few more dramatic roles here and there, including a small stint on Casualty and a supporting role in Ordinary Lies. Number 7. Emily Atak, Charlotte Hinchcliffe Just to confirm, we are going to have sex. Yes, I can confirm that. Since she almost took Will's virginity as the most popular girl in school, Charlotte Hinchcliffe, Atak has had only a handful of acting roles, though she did reunite with Blake Harrison for the 2016 Dad's Army reboot and James Buckley for Rock and Chips. Instead, she's become most notable for her work in reality TV and presenting. This began when she competed in Dancing on Ice in 2010, but most recently she was crowned Princess of the Jungle for the 2018 run of I'm a Celebrity. The main guy that's in the wheelchair, his avatar is so fit. She's since served as a relief presenter on This Morning, as well as joining the lineup of Extra Camp and has appeared on various panel shows. And after it became a running joke that Stephen wanted his own spin-off series. Number 6, Emily Head, Carly D'Amato. You ruined my big night! I thought you liked me, you arsehole! The Inbetweeners was her breakout job, starring as Simon's longtime love interest until her true colours were revealed in the 2011 movie. Since leaving Carly behind, she becomes perhaps more familiar as Rebecca White on Emmerdale, whom she played from 2016 to 2018. It was only the once. How does that make it better? In the intervening years, however, she didn't have a lot on her plate, featuring briefly in Doctors, his second role for the show, and the hallmark dramatisation of Will and Kate's love story. However, away from the screen, she's seen some success in theatre, appearing notably in Corum Boy and Abigail's Party. Number 5, Greg Davies, Mr. Gilbert. Oh no. Phil. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I thought it was a fart, sir. Before the Inbetweeners, Greg spent 13 years working as a teacher across the UK. However, after seeing Mr. Gilbert, it's doubtful he'd ever be hired to work in a school today. Gilbert's antagonistic relationship with Will was one of the funniest parts of the show, and Davies' career took off afterwards. He's now one of the country's foremost comics. He starred alongside Andy Samberg and Taylor Lautner in Cuckoo, for which he was nominated for a BAFTA, and has written and starred in Man Down for Channel 4. Hello, Sue. And also, no thank you. But he might be most famous for being the titular taskmaster, setting comedians' bizarre challenges in one of Britain's most unique panel shows. God. <laughs> oh no. What? Number four, Blake Harrison, Neil Sutherland. Oh my God. So is this my irritating bells? He's got more than one lovable idiot up his sleeve as he took over the role of Pike in Dad's Army in 2016. No thank you, Pike. But despite this, he's managed to avoid being typecast and has had a handful of well-received dramatic roles. He was in the first series of Trust Me opposite Jodie Whittaker, had a small role in Russell T Davies' A Very English Scandal in 2018, and starred as DS Spencer Gibbs in Prime Suspect 1973. How do you feel about your girlfriend shagging other people for money? Though he has been in sitcoms like Him and Her and White Van Man, he also voices Scoop in the Bob the Builder reboot, definitely one of the more unique roles from the former Inbetweeners castmates. 
Number three, James Buckley, Jay Cartwright. I bet her body's still pretty fit. Though Jay is definitely an iconic character, he's not the most popular sitcom protagonist James Buckley has ever portrayed. In 2010, he landed the role of the young Del Boy in Only Fools and Horses prequel, Rock and Chips. He's also had leading roles in other sitcoms. He stars in White Gold, written by In Between Us co creator Damon Beasley, alongside Joe Thomas and Ed Westwick, and was also the leading man in Zapped on Dave. <laughs> However, he's also gained prominence for his YouTube channel, Completed It Mate, where he uploads highlights of his Twitch gaming streams and runs a podcast. Number two, Joe Thomas, Simon Cooper. Are you alright? Please don't distract me. He's most recently appeared as one of the other leads in Damon Beasley's White Gold, but has even greater sitcom credentials than most. He starred in Fresh Meat as Kingsley Owens for the duration of its run, which counts other comedy legends like Jack Whitehall and Robert Webb in its cast. Um, I'd like to dedicate this song to Heather. I love you, babe. But he also reunited with the other creator of The Inbetweeners, Ian Morris, who directed Thomas's film The Festival in 2018. Put them up when we move in together. I kind of assumed that we'd, you know, break up. Notably, the festival also starred Hannah Toynton, who played Tara in The Inbetweeners, and is Thomas's real-life fiancé. He and Simon Bird co-starred and co-wrote the sitcom Chickens. Number 1. Simon Bird, Will McKenzie Feisty one you are! Like Joe Thomas, Simon Bird jumped from one incredibly successful sitcom straight into another, and has been playing Adam in Channel 4's Friday Night Dinner since 2011. And now for the Miss World over 70s category. But it hasn't all been plain sailing. Though he was reunited with Thomas, their 2013 sitcom Chickens, about men who didn't fight in World War I, failed to find an audience. As far as films go, along with both In Between Us movies, he was in You, Me and Him in 2017, which starred David Tennant. But he's also gotten married in the years since the show ended, now with two children, and is said to make his directorial debut with 2020's Days of the Bagnold Summer. I think he's quite disappointed, to be honest. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.